Bonjour, je m'appelle Jean. Today I'll share with you a poem. It's called The Tree. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against sweet earth's flowing breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in heaven wear a nest of robins in her hair. And I said that last word wrong. Dommage aux autres. I think that I should never see a poem as lovely as that school bus going down the road and messing my phone. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the sweet earth's flowing breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair. Upon whose bosom snow has lain, who ultimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God make a tree. All right everybody, first thing we want to do is get a small screwdriver like this and uh, that's a flathead. can't see that but I can feel that. That's a flathead there. We want to get all the tubes out of here but you use a like a screwdriver like this and you press down in the center See these um, these grid clips here, they have a hole in the middle of them. So what you do is you press down on the middle there and then you loosen this up. So you don't rip the grid clip off the tube and the, and the cap. You don't want to rip that off. So we got to do it go around here. Hmm, looks like this, this has a secondary cap on it. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of rusted. We have to fix that up. Take it off of here. Uh-oh, that, that, that cap is loose on that one. You can do if you get it up a little bit. Get in between there and kind of pry it up too. We need a small screwdriver for that. Let's pry it up. See that? Now that that is loose, but that could be fixed because it's it's attached to just off of the glass. I just wanted to show that we gotta get this one. This cap is that's totally on there. We're gonna have to use something something to penetrate in there. Get that off. Okay, what I'm going to do is, hope this camera's working, new camera, hope this is going to work here, because what I'm going to do is take these tubes out real gentle like, grab them by the base of course, Ew, man, that tube probably hasn't been out in like 50 years. Yeah, it's a Philco tube and an RCA. Go figure. 5Z3. So what we're gonna do, kind of pan over here to the to the bucket. Just gonna get some uh, basic uh, water here. Actually, I don't like that one. I like. This one's softer. There's a little damp, a little dampness there. And just kind of get the dust off here. You know, you don't have to go crazy because we don't want to. You don't want to wipe the the lettering off and stuff. Be real easy on it. Something damp. And I gotta get me a. Something to put that, put, something to put these tubes in here. That's what I got here. We take our nice, pretty clean. It's clean. It's, it's clean. It's clean. Looks shiny. We take our tube. 
put it nice in the box some bubble wrap and I got some more bubble wrap too so we're gonna go through this and take these tubes out one by one we got our, uh, our nice output tubes here and this this kind of wiggle and pull at the same time the wiggle and pull method I didn't invent that I cannot claim I invented the wiggle and the pull and the pull method did not invent the wiggle and pull method for some reason that's also a Philco tube so they're gonna clean all these up real just like downtown yeah can't go crazy because let's be careful with it I'm gonna go go off go through all this just like that just like that there here we go there you go now this this base is loose from the glass so so that's why I want to mention that's why you don't want to pull it by the glass because it's gonna mess it up it's it's pretty loose but no problem no problem we can fix it now nah, I'm just joking around hey John how you doing now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put some uh, crazy glue in there and it's going to fix it right up. Not a big deal. You kind of lay them like in the box like that. Kind of like you're taking a little nap. There you go. Now if we look at here, I'm going to take this tube shield off. I want to show you something here. This here wire here, it looks like a little garden snake that's been dead for a while. That is your antenna lead wire. And I can tell you straight off, this wire is bad. It was bad on my R1934-262, and I know it's going to be bad on this one. It just breaks down inside, and it kills the signal. So count on replacing that. Snakes all up through the chassis there on top, and goes gonna sticks his head down that hole down there which I don't know if you can see that or not come on where are you there he is yeah see that look at that there you go so that's gonna get replaced just tell you straight off cuz that will avoid a lot of problems in the future if you replace it now I mean if you replace it early in the day and not try to troubleshoot it now here's another Philco tube ain't that something wonder if the guy took it to like a Philco repair shop to get it fixed makes me wonder about things like that now check out check out this tube shield here Taking this one off, this is a heavy tube shield. This tube shield, that's a heavy one. I bet you that weighs about half a pound almost. I mean, I ain't kidding. That's a heavy tube shield. It's like uh, radioactive for who knows what. Well, actually, it's, it's shielding the, I don't know, either that, what tube is this here? Oh, yeah, you know, it's a good idea to what it's a good idea to um, to actually um, keep track of the tubes you're taking out see if they're in the right spots because I've seen a lot of radios where people shove tubes in and they weren't the right ones and then you could say oh hey, that's why the radio wasn't working they shoved the wrong tubes in you know man RCA, look at that. RCA, can you see that? And 
wonder if that's one of the original ones. I don't know. That's yeah, a. It says A7. Must be the 6A7 right there. You know, I ain't, I ain't never restored a radio in the spring before. But it's kind of cool. Think about it. Springtime. Resurrection. Resurrect the old radio. Springtime's the uh, time for uh, rebirth. It's fantastic. Save, save your um, Easter time. Thinking about that. It's all good. Yo. I just said springtime. And you ain't gonna believe it. It's starting to rain. I can't believe it. Must be them spring showers. Must be that poem I read earlier. Well, this this is drag, so I can't continue now. But what I want to say is, uh, I gotta do a progressive re um, clean on this thing. I'm gonna do a blow job on it first. Just blow all that, you know, blow it, blow it with air. Just blow it with air and compressed air. But not too hard on top of here where them mica, them mica capacitors are. We don't want to damage them. You can use a little aerosol air and blow it in there. And then I'm going to clean it with just like soap and water. And that little bit of rust on here, I'm going to use navel jelly. I got I got some old navel jelly. And that'll probably work as good as new navel jelly. I gotta clean that rust off of there. I almost forgot my uh, old goat 64 anti puke, uh, anti puking, uh, uh, what do you call this here? A tripod here. Man, look at this rain coming. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, so is something. So is something. Yeah, it's a good thing I came in. It's starting to rain pretty good now. Yeah, we times I want to go outside and do this, it's raining. I want to do it outside because um, you know, I want to blow the dust outside. Uh, I don't want to blow it off in my living room like uh, like I saw someone do on YouTube. And uh, when the sun's shining, you know, whatever that chassis gets, you know, damp or something, the sun will dry it off. But uh, testing out my uh, Sony Handycam uh, HDR CX330, and uh, I don't know. We'll see how it works out. Take it easy, everybody. Take it easy. Bye, bye.